talking about people who've been who've been hush hush <laughs> thinking of people who have been hush hush dr disrespect our favorite <laughs> one of our one of our favorite people in the past couple of months he's back he's back tweeting and <laughs> first of all he did two things first of all he did two things one is he deleted the evidence he deleted the evidence of him admitting that he uh that he was sending messages to this minor uh why i mean can we take a good guess here he's following the playbook right now i told y'all i told y'all what the deal is i already told y'all what the game plan was going to take this vacation you're going to sit back take a month or two off you're going to come back you're going to test the waters dr disrespect testing the waters was posting that chess pick that chess and checkers pick oh my god it's so mysterious oh it's it's so mysterious oh man what do you what do you got for us dr disrespect oh oh i i, I can't wait man i'm so i'm anticipating you to come back so he posts that but then he gets on this this weird like i'm still playing into character but like you can't cancel me type crap replying to people and being all edgy and stuff and now he tweets he deletes that that tweet he deletes that initial tweet which again everybody has a screenshot everybody has dissected that already so it's not like we forgot bro it's still in our brains it only happened a month ago so what are we doing here it's no point of you deleting that like it, whether it even if it's a legal situation it doesn't matter we already got the evidence bro we caught you in 4k you said it there's nothing to get around that anyways so then he tweets this right he tweets this vacation is just too good right now we'll be back soon though champs we have lots to talk about yeah 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 yeah, yeah. which is just weird to do so i feel like that's even weirder now <laughs> he does that yeah 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 Oh, man. So just like clockwork, again, people don't forget, you know, whether they feel whether they felt this way or not about Dr. Disrespect, the comments were lighting him up. So nothing has changed here. Nothing has changed. So I've seen, of course, the bigger streamers talking about it. Nick Merckx even even talked about it. Uh, Nick Merckx seems he seems to be, you know, standing on his ground. You know, I don't know if he's talking to him in the background, but he's at least still acknowledging it and he's not he's not sounding apologetic like he's gonna let dr disrespect in with open arms but we all know what's going to happen again this is just all a plan chat this is all a plan he's gonna come back you know maybe in another week or two or he'll tweet another thing in like another week or two he's gonna come back and that first stream when he comes back he's gonna have a lot of people in there now whether they're longtime fans or people just wanting to know his side of the story that's the, you know that's another thing uh i i, I don't know if i'm gonna whatever he's trying about it i ain't check it for him but i do want to know what he possibly has to talk about like is he going to sit there and like break this whole situation down and like try to tell his side of the story finally or is he going to just act like it never happened that's that's kind of the thing that i want to know now like it's just going to try to sweep it under the rug and just hope that people just eventually forget because again that's the that's the ultimate goal here that's the ultimate goal take a a a vacation for over a month and you you know you think that people have moved on to somebody else and you want to come back and act like nothing happened that's what i said and i'm pretty sure that's what he's going to do it'll be surprising to me if he actually goes through and talks about it but i feel like at this point it would be it, it wouldn't make sense for him not to talk about it right it wouldn't make sense for him not to talk about it like i feel like for you to i mean tweeting is one thing but you going on stream and like being yourself and you know not in your character and saying hey like all right man i messed up i messed up i i i was you know sending inappropriate messages to this minor and uh but there was nothing illegal happened like if he just rehashes what he said I'm still not going to be like, hey, man, like, I forgive you. But uh, for his longtime fans, I'll be like, all right, man, you apologize. And, and then they're probably just going to forget about it. That's that's what I see happening. You know, everybody else on the outside who didn't watch Dr. Disrespect from the beginning, there's probably still going to, you know, continue what they're doing in this in this comment section. And I'm pretty sure he's going to have mods on deck. Um, he, he probably already got the uh, the band words on deck. 
uh pedophile pdf file uh any any type of kendrick lamar lyric they not like us uh you know it probably any of that stuff and probably gonna have the mods on deck just getting rid of people just sniping people left and right on that first stream i already know because i'm pretty sure if people keep the same energy and they're really checking for him they're gonna be pretty toxic on their first stream we'll see we'll see but that's the news on him like i said i feel like he needs to talk about it you know just want to get it out the way get that first stream up and get it out the way because you're not gonna be able to to escape it you know you're not gonna be able to escape it people are they don't forget they don't forget i i feel like definitely this year people do forget a lot of things you know people do move on to the to the next big thing but with him especially with the time that he's taking in 2024 people are really like trying to cancel people they're holding people accountable for their actions and you know they're trying to really see people get up out the paint if you've been a weirdo uh people aren't forgetting you know people aren't forgetting they're still they're still on that same type of time so we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see how long how much longer it'll take for him to come back but that's the news on him you know he's just trying to trying to tweet like it never happened man tweet and delete he, he's trying his best but but according to this, this comment section, man, they are they are on his ass, bro. <laughs> they own his ass. So we'll see in that first stream. But like I said, it's gonna be a lot of people in there. I'm not I'm not expecting his numbers to dwindle, at, you know, upon uh, any means. His numbers will probably it will still be the same. They're gonna be even bigger at that first stream for sure. But a lot of people are going to want to tune in and see if he, you know, spills the tea. If he spills the tea, the real story about what happened. Twenty seven. <laughs> like I don't know i don't know so that's that that's that in other news man another streamer another streamer shout out to man this isn't anything bad man shout out to man he's been a he's been an upstanding guy man shout out shout out to my boy man appreciate you for coming on the stream man appreciate you for coming on the stream but my man is it's burnt out he has lost motivation and that's fine uh i didn't even realize like he's really been been going crazy for like over a decade like the man is still young like 25 26 i'm like damn like you're still a young and you really were streaming since you were 16 17 playing predecessor my boy playing predecessor and moving on to fortnite and just like going crazy during that time like you were literally like number one number two in a lot of people's eyes like the best fortnite player like at your peak so Shout out to him. You know, he made a long video and he explained why he was going on hiatus. Now, even though he's already been on hiatus, uh, he actually made it, you know, an official video explaining why. Um, you know, he just, I mean, in lamest terms, he's burnt out. In lamest terms, he's burnt out and he's lost motivation. Um, you know, there have been some ups and some downs, obviously, during the Fortnite days and the TSM days, uh, you know, peak with, with Hamlets and, and Daquan that was you know when when they were at the at the top man and he was saying that people still to this day like when they see him they still ask about hamlin's and daquan like like where are they like what's going on uh it's probably like you know the the what people outside of you know just fortnite by itself myth alone that's what a lot of people i feel like it's where a lot of people like really started I would say this is where a lot of people really started finding like myth like his personality like as a as a person and not just a fortnite player like they used to do a lot of crazy stuff together like their house was was pretty insane so a lot of people hold on to those moments you know people people never forget you know like tbh for example people still call him modern war and negro and still want black guy tail and stuff like that there are just certain certain points in people's content creation career where they just they just love it and they don't want to let it go you know they don't want to let it go so he was saying a lot of people still you know go back to those days when they when they see him but you know mythos has some ups he's had some downs him going to youtube was a was a big deal and I, you know, i'm sure he got a big bag for that but when he did go to youtube his numbers did decline and fortnite you know honestly got old he started moving on to other games like he had he had a, a nice run when when russ came out like he had a he had a nice rust session a nice a uh, good rust session when valorant came back out he had a resurgence and when he started doing this irl stuff um you know getting more into into the irl realm uh you know he had a had a peak as well you know collaborating with other content creators so again you know when people find new things to do you know it takes a while for your core audience to to like catch on and accept that like hey you know here's some different here's some different content from the person who you know from just doing this one thing for so long but he, he was able to do it and you know he just ended up playing whatever he wanted at the end of the day uh during the tenure from uh from youtube but his deal is over and it was like you know like i, th I feel like this is a perfect moment for me to step away you know it's a perfect moment for me to step away my deal is done i don't know what i'm going to do next 
Uh, and he said, you know, whenever he comes back, you know, whenever he finds the motivation to to come back, then he will. But and he doesn't know how long he's going to be away. You know, it's not going to be, a, you know, it may not be a month. I mean, maybe a month and maybe two months. Who knows? But it's going to take a break. And I think he deserves it, man. He deserves it. Uh, like I said, burnout is a real thing. And shout out to him for, you know, being pretty consistent for, you know, over a decade. Because, you know, unlike his other former TSM members, Daquan and Hamlet, because both of them, honestly, they were, you know, they were going through things. And, you know, it's not, I worry about them, but they, both of them were going through things. And it was a lot of, you know, mental, mental anguish. And, and Daquan was also having physical, uh, physical issues too. Uh, so it was a lot for both of them. And, you know, when both of them, you know, took crazy hiatuses for however long, it was really just myth by himself. Like he was the only one out of that crew who continuously kept doing content. He was the only one that continuously kept doing content and you know he ended up moving out you know he had a girlfriend and stuff so and he said he just recently bought a house so the man is doing good things and and you know he he was like damn man like i i really i really got all this money and got paid just for playing video games he was like holy fuck <laughs> so and the man is very privileged a man is very privileged and very uh and he's he's still humble though he's still humble you know and he has a lot of life to live like say he's only 25 26 man so that's 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 insane man that's that's insane and i've i literally watched it come up. i didn't catch him in the early predecessor days but i watched it come up you know ever since he started playing fortnite and became you know one of the best players in the world at that so i've been keeping up with him like i said he's definitely an inspiration I, I remember i met him in real life at the facebook party at e3 too so you know shout out to him for uh for finally you know breaking out of that fortnite like i'm only that fortnite creator uh you know type of situation ended up you know doing whatever he wants you know and, and then while it did cost him a lot of uh you know core viewers you know more from moving to youtube to be honest uh and while he cost him a lot of core viewers he still ended up you know breaking out of that box and and still was able to do whatever he wanted so you know shout out to myth man shout out to myth uh and you know whenever you come back man we'll be we'll be waiting i want to see what you what you're up to so yeah shout out to him uh shout out to him for uh for coming on the pod as well man very very humble guy very humble all right 